Bradley High. We're here with the Rebel Media and we are covering Gays Against Sharia who have been marching in Bristol today. They've had some backlash from anti but not very much. It's mainly just a couple of uh, tag-alongs at the end. We've just heard some of the speakers. We've got immigrants. We had Amory Waters speaking. We had the owner of Gays Against Sharia, Tommy English, he was speaking, and a variety of people, including a Muslim gentleman. Um, so it's been a very diverse crowd today, and so far so good. We were expecting quite a lot of backlash from Antifa, but it's actually not been that bad, because I think the police are very aware of the trouble that they cause, and most people on the march would agree that this side has been very peaceful, while well, the Antifa side has been throwing their toys out of the pram. So, so far it's been a very successful day, and Antifa have lost as usual. Why are you marching today? Because I'm sick of the state of the country. Too much FGM, too much child grooming. I think something's got to change. If we don't do it peacefully, like we're trying to do now, it's going to be a matter of probably less than five years it's going to end up with riots. Oh, the usual, the growth of Sharia law, Islamisation, the fact that uh, Bristol's very liberal as well. So that led to 300 girls and women uh, being subject to FGM last year. Th those gays and lesbians who come out and support us, they're, they're the brave ones. It, it does take a lot to come out as being gay, have conservative thoughts, patriotic thoughts, anti-Islam thoughts. A gay people supporting Islam is like chicken supporting KFC. I, I think, you know, people should be allowed to have a view where they don't support gay marriage. But uh, you know, to say that you can't be gay at all is just ridiculous. And yet more than half of Muslims in the country think that, according to ICM. We want to be able to criticise any idea, any religion. And as we know, free speech is going to hell lately. On top of that, we're marching against FGM, which is a massive problem here in Bristol. We are the second uh, city in the whole UK with the highest rates. And uh, we're marching against terrorism. We want to show that immigrants, uh, British people, gay people, we're all united against any bad ideology. They mistook me for Antifa. I have never been so insulted in my life. You are not fixed to a political ideology just because of your sexual orientation. That's not the point. And there is a threat to the gay community, particularly in, particularly in Europe right now. I'm just hanging around, you know, checking out uh, the beautiful city of Bristol and um, going on the march, you know, to support the gays against the Sharia and uh, representing uh, the Proud Boys at all times. So who's the aggressive ones today? Well, I think it's the ones that are predominantly dressed in black. The ones that are shouting Nazi scum off our street. Oh, the goths? The goths, yeah. The ones that the, the bushes dwellers, they seem to live in the bushes and they're just coming out shouting Nazi scum and then retreating back into the bush again. You know these kids, their parents are doctors and lawyers and so forth. And they're basically trying to invent a machine to rage against. 52% of Muslims think homosexuality should be illegal. That's a social issue that we should just you should just address. No one in the world should be thrown off a building for being gay and we should you know, unify, come out together and say, no, we're not down with that. I'm a practicing Muslim myself, coming from the Sufi tradition, but I am but I am against hypocrisy. And when I see everything going on in the Islamic world, that is, if that is my religion, then I'm against it. If that is my prophet, then I'm against it. If my prophet's a pedophile, then I'm against it. If my prophet's an anti-Semite, then I'm against it. And if you're not, then you're just full of basically left white wing guilt. Is Sharia being practiced in, illegally in yes. Britain? Yes, it is. I'm here to march against, march if we all, against the, the evil ideology which is Islam. I come to these marches mostly because I, the atmosphere I get here is England. I get the England atmosphere. I feel like this is my home. Because reading the stories in the news about rapes and gentle mutilation, it, it, it doesn't sound like my home. So being here is just it's an, it's help it's it's amazing being here because it 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 shows you that like, I'm not the only I'm not the only one. Thanks for watching. If you like that and you want to see more, click like and subscribe.